Mini shotgun microphones like these are an awesome tool for any iPhone, Android, or even a portable DSLR setup. But which is the best compact shotgun microphone? In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the most popular, the Rode Video Micro, and the significantly cheaper underdog, the Boya BYMM1, to help you decide. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help entrepreneurs and business owners amplify their brand and their business with video. If you're new here, then make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. Shotgun microphones or boom mics are a worthy addition to any video kit. So as directional microphones, they allow you to capture great audio within a targeted frame, reducing ambient noise that non-directional microphones would otherwise capture. There are several advantages of using shotgun microphones and they can provide a great deal of flexibility when shooting outdoors or in changing environments. Where sizing and portability is a concern, there's even compact options like these ones that'll give you great results. The small form factor makes them great for portable rigs, whether you're shooting on an iPhone or an Android device, or if you're shooting on the go or even vlogging with a DSLR. The Rode Video Micro, which is this one here, is definitely one of my favorites these days, but like everything, it's not without issues. This would be my pick from the Rode lineup when it comes to budget compact shotgun microphones, but it is worth mentioning that manufacturers like Rode do actually produce models that are specifically designed for smartphones. The Rode Video Mic Me is the Rode Video Micro's smaller brother, which was designed specifically for mobile. Now, even if you are looking for a microphone specifically for filming on mobile or your smartphone, Phone. I really can't recommend that microphone. I've actually gone through quite a few of those microphones and they've got some major issues with static and interference on the audio that they actually capture. It's not just me either. I know quite a few other people that have had the same experience with those microphones. And if you look online, there's a lot more people to add to that as well but the good news is you get better results from the Rode Video Micro anyway. Now, similar to the Rode Video Micro, Boya is a lower cost manufacturer that actually makes one of the most popular recommended microphones on this YouTube channel, the Boya BYM1, which is a wired lavalier microphone. So we wanted to get our hands on their lower priced Rode Video Micro competitor, the BYMM1, to do a full comparison. The Boya BYMM1 is very similar in design and build to the Rode Video Micro and it promises a lot of the same features, but coming in at $19 cheaper. So how do the two stack up and which one should you look at if you're in the market for a new mini shotgun microphone? So we're gonna run through my thoughts after putting them both through their paces. Now shotgun microphones are one option that I'd recommend that's in every video toolkit. The other is a lavalier microphone. So once we're done with this comparison, at the end I'll share my favorite all-rounder lavalier microphone that you can grab for around $20 US. And I'll also share with you a video that can help you understand when to use each microphone to get the most out of your new setup. So looking at the two microphones side by side, they both look almost identical. I think if you were looking at these from a distance, you'd be hard pressed to work out which one was which. They both come with a decent shock mount to take the shock or the noise out of any camera movement. They've both got a 3.5 millimeter microphone port on the back, which is a TRS connector, which is your standard microphone plug. On the bottom of the shock mount, they've both got a cold shoe adapter, but the Boya BYMM1 has the standard tripod thread on the bottom, whereas the Rode Video Micro has the larger 5.8 thread. In the box with both of them, you get a furry windshield to help take the wind noise out of any videos you're recording. The Rode comes with a single 3.5 millimeter TRS or standard microphone cable. So it will work directly out of the box with any cameras or DSLRs. Whereas the Boya BYMM1 comes with both the standard cable and also a TRS to TRRS cable, meaning that you can use it direct with your smartphone without the need to go and purchase an additional cable. The Boya also comes with a soft carry bag as well. So even though the Boya microphone comes with both cables to work on either a camera or a smartphone, you can still use the Rode microphone on both the camera and the smartphone as well, but you will need to purchase an additional cable to be able to do it. Now, both of these microphones don't require any batteries. They're actually powered directly from your camera or your smartphone. So these microphones are really low powered and it's really amazing the quality of the audio that you get out of these, given the fact that they don't need to be powered externally. 
Now we're not gonna get too technical on this, but looking at the rated specs of the microphones, the Rode microphone has a rated frequency of 100 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And the Boyer microphone has a rated frequency response of 35 to 18 kilohertz. So looking at the numbers, it looks like the Boyer should pick up a lot more in the lower frequencies, whereas the Rode has a slightly higher frequency sensitivity. So the two of these microphones are really incredibly similar, especially when you're looking at the build, the design, the build quality of both of them is really, really solid. But let's jump in and see how they actually sound. Okay, so this is a test. This is the Boya. If we listen to the audio now, I've got the aircon going. And I haven't touched the audio at all. And so as I'm talking here, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're not getting into the red area as well. So that's interesting to note. I'm gonna to switch to the other microphone now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the Rode Video Micro. The volume levels actually look to be pretty much the same. I think the only time it peaked in the red was when I actually plugged it in. So I spent quite a bit of time testing these two microphones and running them side by side to really tell the difference and see which is the standout microphone in different situations. So we've gone through testing in a location like this where it's reasonably quiet, there's just an air conditioner running, but we've also taken them outside in both noisy and quiet environments as well. And really to sum it all up, we are hard pressed in most cases to find the difference between the two. If you didn't know which one you were listening to, whether it was the Rode or the Boyer, you would be so hard hard pressed to work out to say, oh, that's the road or that's the Boyer. They are that close. We've even looked at the waveforms to compare the audio recording side by side, and even those are very, very similar. Probably the biggest distinction between the two is that the Rode slightly has a bit more in the top end, meaning there's a bit more sharpness or a bit more treble in the actual recording, which is nice, but really, unless you heard the two side by side, you wouldn't know that you were actually missing that on the recording with the Boyer microphone. And when I say that it is a slight difference, I mean that it really, really is the smallest difference in the audio recording. As for background or ambient noise capture in an environment like this, where we're just talking to camera, it is very minimal on both of them. But overall, we did find that the Boya microphone was slightly louder than the Rode microphone. And again, it's minor. Now as for drawing some conclusions out of this, what we liked and what we didn't like about the two microphones, I've got to say that the Rode Video Micro definitely has the better shock mount. While it's very similar to the Boyer one, it is actually better. I also really like that with the Boyer microphone, you're actually getting the cables to use it for both your cameras or your smartphone. So you're getting both the TRS and the TRRS cables built in. Now obviously you can go and buy these, but it is an additional expense if you're going to use the Rode microphone. I also really like on the Boyer microphone that it's got the standard tripod thread on the bottom of the shock mount. So for mounting options and for ease of use, it opens you up to so many more mounting options and places that you can put this microphone without the need to get an adapter, which you could get for the Rode microphone so that it has the same thread as well. But the fact that it is stock standard tripod thread out of the box, I think it's gonna give people a lot more flexibility and creativity with their videos. And the audio quality between the two, as I said, is almost exactly the same, but having a little bit more top end on the road. So probably the only thing we haven't mentioned yet is the price difference between the two and how much you can actually buy these microphones for. So you can currently pick up the Boya BYMM1 microphone for around the $37 US price point on Amazon, whereas the Rode Video Micro is currently selling on Amazon for around the $56 price point. So while there's not a huge difference in price between the two microphones, there's also probably not a huge difference between the two microphones as well. Okay, so that's the lowdown on both models. Now, before we cover off on the other microphone that you need to round out any video kit and when to use it, let's look at which of these is the all round best. So if you're someone who is really particular on your audio and you wanna have the best audio out of a shotgun microphone at this level, then my recommendation would be to go with the Rode Video Micro. Rode make a heap of really, really fantastic microphones and this one is no different. But if you're someone who just wants to improve the audio on your videos dramatically with a mini shotgun microphone, and you probably wouldn't even notice the slight improvement on the Rode audio, then this microphone is probably the pick for you. But also the fact that you're getting more in the box, so you get more flexibility with this microphone without any additional expense. And I'm referring to the additional TRS to TRRS cable that you can use to use this microphone on your smartphone as well. 
And as for which one I'm now gonna carry around with me, well, up until testing this Boya BYMM1 microphone, the Rode Video Micro was definitely our number one recommendation. It was a microphone that I would always carry with me, but I think after seeing this side-by-side -side comparison and all the tests and everything that we've done, I'm probably gonna swap that out, and I'm probably gonna now start recommending the Boya BYMM1 microphone because bang for buck, it's a cheaper solution and it gives you almost all the benefits of the Rode Video Micro, plus having all the adapters and connections you need for multiple devices. So I think it really is the complete package when you're looking at a mini shotgun microphone. Now, shotgun microphones are just one type of microphone. For any scenario where you wanna get the best quality audio from someone speaking, then you'll also want a lavalier microphone in your kit. The one that we recommend is the Boya BYM1 microphone. Very similar name. And it sells for around $20 US. It's actually the microphone that we use for creating most of the videos on this YouTube channel and it works on both DSLR and smartphone straight out of the box. If you want to make sure that you're using the right type of microphone on every shoot then check out the video linked on screen now that highlights the differences between shotgun microphones and lavalier microphones and everything you need to know to make the right decision on which is the best one for your shoot every time and I'll see you next time.